Hi, I'm Stephen Wallace, and you're watching Hollywood First Look. You don't look so good. Well, of course I don't look so good. I'm this close to 80. You're going to live a long time. Nine months. Nine months what? The baby takes nine months to be born. I'm taking nine months to say goodbye. It's not every day a man gets to tell his daughter that he's going to be a grandfather. I'm pregnant? Yes, you are. No. Red, you had sex lately. I did, a few times. Not very memorable, but what? I can get you a pamphlet about it if you like. A pamphlet? I've been systematically unable to raise myself for the past 40 years. How am I going to raise a child? What inspired me to write the script was a, a comment that my mother had made to me. My mother was very sick when I wrote, uh, you know, I decided to write the film. And there's a line in the film about, I took nine months to be born, I'm going to take nine months to die. That was actually something my mother said to me. And she actually um, died nine months, this is a true story, nine months and a day after saying it. And she had spent that nine months reconnecting with all these people in her life, you know, spending more time with her family, her brothers and sisters, and doing all the things that she had never uh, had a chance to do. And so it kind of inspired me to, you know, to kind of do a little bit more of a reflective movie. It's Finding Moments is about that one moment in your life that changes you from who you were to who you'll be. And casting was, it was, a, it was a fun process for us. And, in this film, more than any, I was able to use a lot of people that I've worked with before and was good friends with. So Sienna Guillory and I have, uh, I think we're up to three or four movies now. And same with Graham Greene and, um, and Polly Shannon and I have worked a couple times on the films. And so largely what we did was we, we built it from people that, we, that I knew really well because we wanted to have that family atmosphere, people who knew each other a little bit Canadian actors tend to um, work well together because they, they because there's not a, a lot of them like there is in LA. So they they tend to be on a lot of different shows with each other. So they have a chance to, you know, to have some chemistry. So we, we uh, that was well, that was the key. And then we tried to bring in um, some some bigger actors like Bert and uh, and Tammy to the mix. Bert was Bert Reynolds was one of the people that we always wanted to have in the film. Um, he was, you know, I'm, a, I'm at that age where Burt Reynolds was the biggest star in the world when I was a kid. And so he was always on our, on our radar. Our, our thought was, was maybe we're too small of a film for him. So, you know, we, so at that, you know, there was a time where we, you know, we cast him late, but because we just decided one point that, hey, we, you know, let's take a shot at it and see how we do. <laughs> but I am worried. What if he's not okay? Perhaps you should just try taking it one day at a time. What do you feel like doing? Oh, how about a game of checkers? You need to do something nice for yourself. Don't get me started. We're not having a baby. You're either taking the both of us or neither of us. I can honestly say that my decision has always been to err on the side of giving it a go. I'm willing to do anything to make up for it. Sometimes in life you get those moments of total clarity. Has that ever happened to you? Are you trying to tell me something? That I'm in love with you. You seem to have it all figured out. I'm in my 40s, pregnant with not a whole lot to look forward to. You have this baby coming? Oh, when, when, we, when, we, when we got the call from Burt Reynolds' agent about him accepting the role, um, it was pretty exciting because I was shooting this in my hometown. And so to go home and shoot a film in your hometown with, you know, with, uh, you know, one of the biggest stars, uh, you know, of the last 30, 40 years. It was, it was pretty heady stuff. And what was nice about it was the, the agent had said that he thought it was one of his favorite scripts of all time. We, so, you know, hearing that before he got there was really, you know, a bit of a confidence booster coming in. I, I think the, the cast of the film was pretty, you know, I think they were pretty nervous when, you know, working with somebody who's such a big legend. Now, having said that, he makes you feel at home real quick. He really enjoys, like, I, I think he really enjoys people and I think he really enjoys actors. And so he did his, his, his darndest to make sure that everybody felt at home and, um, you know, and so, um, and we, we got lucky. His first scene was with like seven or eight of the, of the main, you know, say 10 actors in the film. And so we were able to get rid of everybody's, uh, you know, nervousness real quick. I think sometimes we, you know, we all have these moments 
but we never notice them until afterwards, you know, after they've passed. And, you know, and if we all would just spend a little bit more time, I think, paying attention to them, I think our lives would be much more richer. Do I know anybody? The party is for you, after all. Now get in there. Where did all these people come from? They wanted to come celebrate your life. You asked me before about clarity, and the one thing I can say with utmost certainty is that I love you. There are two sure things in life. The first is death. The second is love.